Hey YouTube Rando here. Do a video today on the farmer's market. We went today and uh, found some pretty good deals. Now if you dehydrate or can and you don't have a big garden, uh, then a farmer's market's a good way to get your vegetables and fruits or whatever. Uh, these carrots right here, I think it's like a four pack or five pack of jumbos and I think we paid like 50 or 75 cents a bag for them, less than a dollar. Carrots were real cheap. Some of the stuff's not very cheap like uh, the pineapples. <clears throat> they were three a piece. And the only reason I bought one is because I want to go ahead and plant the top of it and uh, do a pineapple tree or bush, whatever you want to call it. Not quite a tree, I guess. Uh, potatoes, they were a little bit expensive. We got, uh, I think it was 50 pounds for $25, so 50 cents a pound. And you can get them a little cheaper than that in the stores. We find the five pound bags on sale for $2, but they're a little bitty, and these are the big, uh, baking potatoes. And these are, these, these cost a lot more in the grocery store than just the regular russet potatoes. What else? Uh, we got some cucumbers, some mega cucumbers, and I can't recall what we paid on those, but we bought a whole big box of them together and just split them uh, between me and my folks. <clears throat> we got a whole box of green tomatoes, and I think it was like $20, and I'm talking about the big produce boxes you see in the grocery store, so that's it's not a bad pr price on tomatoes. and. We're going to do some fried green tomatoes and stuff like that until they ripen, and then when they ripen, we'll have, you know, fresh tomatoes. We got these gigantic onions uh, to make onion rings, and they had, I don't recall what we paid for these, but the 50-pound bags of white onions are $17, and the 50-pound bags of yellow onions are $14, so not a bad price on onions. You know, considering what you see, what you pay in store for. We got uh, two pounds of fresh uh, jalapenos, and I'm going to dehydrate most of these, but they were 75 cents a pound, and I just couldn't pass them up, so we bought <coughs> we bought two couple pounds of those, and I actually gave some away, so that's less than two pounds here, so you see how many it is. melons. Now usually a watermelon in our grocery store runs from four to six dollars, four dollars being the smaller ones, six dollars being the bigger ones, the medium ones. These are jumbo sized and this is also, this is seedless and they were three dollars for these and then three dollars for the yellow and I, I've never tasted the yellow but my wife likes them so we picked up a yellow one as well and we're going to try it out. These uh, these were the most uh, expensive, you know, smaller things I bought. These were uh, $4 a pound, and I got one pound, and it's uh, dried chili peppers. You know, great for salsa or uh, if you're pickling something, stick a few of that, those down in it, cut them open, you get a little bit of spice in it. <clears throat> so I thought that was a good buy. They had the big bags, uh, you know, gigantic bags, enough to last me forever, uh, and they were $18. So that's a good price considering they're already, you know, dehydrated, they're dried out. Uh, that's probably four or five pounds of, of peppers there. So that's why they cost a little bit more is because, you know, they weigh a lot less when they're dried out. Oh, uh, and these right here, the lady had a whole crate. And I'm not talking like a milk crate, I'm talking, you know, double the size of a milk crate is what a, a produce crate is and uh, the whole thing was damn near it was over halfway full and it was four dollars for all the green beans snap beans whatever you want to call them all the green beans she had for four dollars and this is one this is about a, I don't know maybe ten percent of what we bought to fit in a one gallon ziploc bag so it's full so, I, I don't think we're going to dehydrate any of these. Uh, we eat enough uh, greens in my family that this will 
be gone through before they get bad. Uh, so that's pretty much it. We just wanted to run through and you know show you everything you can get. And these right here, they sell in the 50 pound bags as well. Uh, like the melons, if you buy like 10 of them, you know, get a couple people to go in with you or whatever. Uh, you can usually pick them up for about two dollars a piece. Uh, and like I said, the peppers, the more you buy, the cheaper they get. These right here, they had the 10 pound ba uh, bags of fresh jalapeno peppers for five dollars. I paid 75 cents a pound for loose peppers, but they had the pre bagged you know, 50 cents a pound, so I just didn't think we would eat that many. I like jalapeno peppers. We're going to make some stuff, some smaller stuffed peppers out of these, and uh, then we're going to dehydrate some and cook with some and all that good stuff, so farmer's market, if you have one close to you, you can usually find pretty good deals on produce. Produce stands usually buy their fruit and vegetables from the farmer's market and then sell them for double the price. So it's just as fresh as what you get from the stands and uh, about half the price. So thanks for watching YouTube.